Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test and to this series on Node.js. As you know, Node.js is very popular these days and it allows you to run JavaScript outside the browser. So let's spend some time understanding JavaScript. So JavaScript is a programming language initially designed to interact with elements of web pages and hence for years it was known as a client-side language. It is often used with HTML and CSS to enhance the functionality of a web page such as validating forms, creating interactive maps, adding animations to the website and so on. When a web page is loaded, that is after HTML and CSS have been downloaded, the JavaScript engine in the web browser executes the JavaScript code. The JavaScript code then modifies the HTML and CSS to dynamically update the user interface. All major web browsers have a dedicated JavaScript engine to execute it. Some examples are Internet Explorer and Edge use Chakra, Firefox uses SpiderMonkey, Google Chrome uses V8. So why do we need JavaScript engine? Answer is simple. Computers do not understand JavaScript. So we require a program to convert JavaScript code into machine code which a computer can understand. That program is nothing but a JavaScript engine. This engine can be implemented as a standard interpreter or just-in-time compiler. One such engine is V8, which is built by Google. It is open source and written in C++. This engine is used inside Google Chrome web browser. It is designed with the initial intent of increasing the performance of JavaScript execution inside web browsers. In order to obtain speed, V8 translates JavaScript code into more efficient machine code instead of using an interpreter. It compiles JavaScript code into machine code at execution by implementing a JIT, which is just-in-time compiler. Now let's understand this diagram. At the bottom of the stack, we have machine code and at the top, we have JavaScript. So computers understand machine code, which is really powerful, but is very difficult to program into machine code. So we abstract away from it using different programming language. So we have this assembly language, which sits just above it, but still very much like machine code. Then we have this C++, which is further abstracted away quite a lot, but it still remains a lot powerful. And then we have this JavaScript, which sits at the top of the stack and abstracted a lot away from the machine code. In 2009, Ryan Dahl used Google Chrome's JavaScript engine, which is V8, and made it to function outside a browser. Wrapper code were written around V8 engine using C++, making it executable directly on the operating system. So Node.js is an open source JavaScript runtime environment. Please keep in mind that it is not a programming language like JavaScript. And also it is not a framework like Express.js or ASP.NET Core. Node.js is written in C++. It is built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. So you can also say that V8 is at the heart of Node.js. It allows you to run JavaScript on a computer or a server. And NPM, its package ecosystem, is the largest ecosystem of open source libraries. And the reason why we are able to use V8 inside Node is because V8 can run standalone or can be embedded into any C++ application. So Node.js is written in C++ so that you can execute your JavaScript program on a computer. So when we write code into JavaScript and run it through Node.js, it is passed to V8 engine to get converted into machine code, which the computer can understand. As you could see in the diagram, V8 is just a part of Node.js. There are other parts which are written into C++ too. The other parts hooks into JavaScript V8 engine and adds 
additional features to it. As you know, C++ is meant to deal with lower level operations like IO operations. Hence, Node.js is far more powerful than JavaScript. So now with JavaScript, you can do read files sitting on a computer or a server. You can write to files. You can connect to database or even make HTTP request. Having said that, some of the web API for browser such as window and document are not implemented. You may also come across the statement, Node.js is a single threaded, event driven and non-blocking model. Let's understand this as well. So what is non-blocking? Let's understand it by a simple example. So you go in restaurant which has got just one waiter. So you order your meal from the menu. Waiter takes your order, inform the chef in the kitchen and sits there until your meal is ready to be served. So until your meal is served to you, others are waiting in the queue to place their order. So basically they are blocked. Non-blocking in this particular example would be waiter takes your order, inform the chef in the kitchen, comes back and take orders from other customers. The moment your meal is ready, chef informs the waiter and you get your meal served to you. So now let's just briefly talk about this overall architecture. So you have your application, V8 engine, Node.js binding, then your OS operations, we have this event queue, event loop, libuv and these working threads. Node.js has implemented a non-blocking system like above in its single threaded event driven model. In the heart of this model lies a component known as event loop which continuously listen for incoming requests while running indefinitely on a single thread. It is never blocked. When a request comes, the event loop assign it to another entity, a thread from the internal thread pool to perform the actual operation. On completion of the operation, the internal thread sends the response back to the event loop, which in turn sends the respect back to the client via callbacks. So let's briefly understand the objectives of these components. So we have V8 JavaScript engine, this one. V8 JavaScript engine consists of memory heap called stack garbage collector and converts JavaScript code into machine code. libuv consists of thread pool and handles event loop event queue. It's multi-platform C library focusing on asynchronous IO operations. Node.js standard library consists of libraries, operating system related functions for timers like set timeout, file system, FS, network calls, HTTP. Node.js API, exposed JavaScript API to be used by the application. So that is the overall architecture of Node.js. I hope you like that. Thank you so much.